Hello, my friends. It's the end of year 21 through question mark. I don't know. Like I said at the end of last episode, it could be the end of year 21. We have some amazing coaching stuff to look at. It could be the end of the series. Let's go find out together. Yay. The man who will just not die. It's Joe Bridgman. Still at Locomotive Moscow. They have extended his contract. It, it must be a new one. No, it, I guess they just did the, the automatic extension. Okay. So it turns out to be a two-year deal. He still has the non-playing job off a of release clause. He's now down to a fringe player. He made zero appearances last season. Womp, womp, womp. Like, so I guess in that vein. Well, wait a minute. But he made four continental starts and a sub on a 707. We have the league loaded. What? He starts against Kesla Football Club in the Europa Conference League. I guess uh, qualifying round stage thing. He comes on as a sub against IFK Maraham. Uh, he must have played, right? Or at least was on the bench, maybe? I think that's how it works, where we can actually see what's happening. He starts against Olympia in the group stage of the Conference League. He starts and gets a, uh-oh, a red injury against Olympia. Okay, and that was probably maybe the last one. But uh, he, he played it. They didn't play him in the league. They used him in the Conference League. I guess that's an indication of how Locomotive Moscow was looking at the Conference League. <laughs> That is kind of hilarious. What was the injury? Oh, it's it, uh, a bruised knee. I, I mean, later in May, it was a groin strain, but like, I guess it was enough to get him to come out of the game. Um, Still got the National A. Nothing else has changed. Plans. Happy to see out his career with the club. No current concerns. I guess we'll have to see if he ends up someplace. I think of all the players, he's got the best shot. I'd love if like some like, you know, lower league team offered him like a fringe player slash coaching contract. Because I was like, that's an entrance into the coaching ranks. But I guess we'll find out. No, people are falling off of the staff shortlist. That's that's probably not good. Let's go, let's go check some names. Brian and Andrew are still they still exist, but yeah. I can't even find Liam Flanagan's this page. Mr. Kev has hung it up. I I think based off of the staff attributes, that probably makes sense. Where it's like, yeah, probably not so great. But I mean, look at this career. You got to love this, right? Dominican Republic to Montpellier to Belgium twice. Uh, Stuttgart with the massive move. Real Madrid playing 1 million euro more than the... than the, No, no. PSG paying 1 million more than Real Madrid paid. And then he finishes out with the cherries. And then he calls it a career. Maybe he'll become a commentator. Now this is interesting. Chris Carpenter, I feel like, was a two-star reputation. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly, but I feel like he was a two-star. And he's now two and a half. It could be the other way. He was a three-star and it's going down. But he's got the National A. He's not had a gig. You know, Tottenham, it's all player. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, he looks to be pretty good. No plans for the future, though, is probably not, not, not great. Right? But like, you would think somebody would give him a shot. I would. Okay. Baxter Gregg still exists. Again, I feel like the reputation's going up, but I may be just misremembering and it's going down. But I think, you know, his defending has gone from a three to a four. So maybe he's studying for like a continental C or something. Like that improved, which is, again, I think hilarious. But like, maybe has a chance, but yeah. That's all we got, folks. So I'm going to hop us forward to the end of year 22, and we'll see if anything happens. This will, If it goes like this and no one gets a job, this will be the last episode before the... All right, let's go back and take a look at all the players and their careers. 
um, and like really dig in and find the potential ability. I'll have to go back and find the... I've got the first save file, so we can always go back and go, hey, what was the potential ability at that time? But just as a heads up, that's what we're doing. Stick with me. All right, we've hopped forward. It's now 2042. Let's go looking. Joe Bridgman's still not dead. He's a free agent. He's a free agent. He got one whole appearance in his entire career with Locomotive Kazanka, which is, okay, he moved. What? What is that? PFL G2 in Russia. I love acronyms. I, I'm guessing that's like, that's not first division. That's like, yeah, Premier League first division in like something down there. But he gets one league appearance with an assist and a player of the match on an 8.7. And he goes, I'm good. I'm good. I have done what I set out to accomplish. Yes, I have changed. I This is a different day. I mm, uh, Programming note. After this episode, I want to know your, like, what do you want to see in the final episode? And it'll be a big one. I am going to be taking most of next week off um, for family situations. So I'm trying to get this out um, before the holiday break. So you got something to enjoy. And then that kind of buys time for everybody to comment on what they want to see. So obviously we want to look at all of the players and what their potential ability was on day one. So I still have that save file. We will do that. But what else do you want to see? Like, Do you want to see Champions League or like, I don't know. Is it just like, I just want to see who the highest potential ability player was. So I kind of feel like, again, we may we may see where this goes and there's like more, you know, staff roles that pop up for folks. But we're definitely ramping towards the end. So on this episode, you can leave comments. What do you want to see in the final episode? Give me a long list and then I'll take, after next week, I'll take some time and, and plug it together. So all that to say, don't expect content until probably the second full week of July. Like, the, what is that? The week of July 11th or 12th? Just as a heads up. Um, I'm doing my best here. I appreciate your patience. Okay, back to Joe. So he gets his one last appearance. Player of the match. Gets an assist. 8.7. Did he have, like, crazy injuries? No. No. He had a groin strain, but that was last. We, we saw that. Um, or if I looked at it. I don't remember. Um, so, yeah. He's a free agent. He's he's not dead yet. Plans has a preference to play for Borussia Dortmund. Why? And PSG and not Lokomotiv. Who, who's the manager? Is it like a former manager? Roberto De Zerbi? No, nope, not a former manager. He's been Sosuelo... Italy. Oh, goodness. Italy, Real, Hispales, Lazio, Borussia Mönchengladbach, and now Borussia Dortmund. So I don't know. It's not like he has a connection to Roberto De Zerbi. Um, just point out. Uh, Dortmund? Uh, went in the Bundesliga there for, like, a, a good chunk of time. They have, like, dethroned Bayern Munich. Maybe that's something that you want to see in the final episode. Um, but I'm just kind of curious. Like, he still doesn't have a plan to be a, like, to be a coach yet. Like, he's 38, and he's still like, I can do it. I got it in me. And I do think if he, if he player coach, I think, would be a perfect move for him. Also, why does it have down here, uh, you, I guess, yeah, it still has Lokomotiv Moscow. He, 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 he's played... Is that, okay, is this like the reserve team? I, I don't know these things. That would make sense, locomotive, you know, but like, is that like a formal reserve team? But he's now left on a free, so shouldn't it be like done? But it also shows this as different, right? I don't know. He's still around. He's not giving up. Okay. It's brutal out there in those coaching street side of the database. Liam Flanagan, Brian McGee, Gordon Bell, Mr. Kev, Josh Payne have all disappeared. Mr. Kev still has his international, um, you know, or his, like, uh, retirement page. The other ones don't. They're just gone. Chris Carpenter exists, again, as a decent-looking coach or assistant manager, but he hasn't been given a chance. So he's still around. I'm just not very hopeful, I guess with him likewise baxter greg is still here still hasn't had a coaching gig still on a national a 
All tens. I mean, looks decent. I you would think he would get a gig in China or Macau or something. Right? Something. You know, the Leeds Academy. I don't know. I'm just a little shocked. Right, let me go back here to Chris. Professional, also a national A. Yeah, so hmm. That's the end of year 22. We're gonna hop forward. Let's go to 23. Joe Bridgman has fallen off the player and staff shortlist. He was the only one left. He did have one more. <laughs> he played one more year at Como in Syria Bay. And he got 11 appearances. Six starts, five subs, six, four, five. Two cup starts on a 6.4. Yikes. And now he's done. Right? He's done. He's officially done. Has no plans, but he's done. But he's still around, but he's done. I just think that is awesome that he got one more gig as a 38 going on 39 year old. That is just fantastic. Goodness me. Okay, there's not many players left here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chris Carpenter is gone. We're searching forever. Baxter Gregg. Oh, man. Joe is the last man standing. So, I don't know. I You know, somebody left a comment said, you know, maybe we should have upped the coaching stats, you know, the, the, the desire to get into coaching a little bit higher. I honestly have to go back and look to see what I set it at. Um, I know I bumped it up a little bit, but I didn't put it as a, as a 20 because I didn't want Again, I'm not a database expert, so I didn't know if, like, if I put coaching on a 20, if, like, they would quit earlier in their career just to get into coaching versus, like, seeing the career out and then getting into coaching. So maybe that's something that we adjust in the future. But Joe is, that's it. Like, Joe is the last one standing. I'm just checking the list here because, yeah, everybody else has disappeared. So let's go to 20, uh, 2044. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't been able, I didn't have had enough time to vacation this to all the way to 2044. We're at October 31st to 2043. This is kind of indicative. If this doesn't look like he's gotten anything, yeah. I think it's time to call it. I think this is the end of the save. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, you know, go forward five more years I just don't think it's going to take that long before we go like, yeah, Joe didn't get a job either. So that kind of leaves us back to what I was saying earlier. What do you want me to look at in the last episode? Obviously, the 10 players, day one, What was who was the wonder kid based off the potential ability? I want to know your thoughts. Who do you think the wonder kid was based off of what you have seen? Who was the one? And again, remember, we had nine kids that had the second highest range and one kid that had the highest range. But the ranges in the database editor overlap. So there could have been one of those second kids, if they were at the, the top end of the, high, the second highest range, that actually had a higher potential ability than the kid that was in the highest uh, range because if that kid was in the low part of that range. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I think I've explained that before, but I just want to explain it again. So there's there's going to be a pause for like over a week on the channel. If you could hit the like button, I would appreciate it. But again, who do you think it was? What do you want to see? And we'll see you next time for the finale. And then, Ar Argentina International Save Relegation Ranger. It is coming. I just got family stuff I got to work through. And I appreciate your patience. It means a lot. We'll see you then.